What is going on everyone? Welcome to Mark's Tech. Most of you guys have been asking me to make this video, so here it is. It's going to be a video of the iPhone 11 Pro Max up against Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Before we get started guys, I'm doing a huge giveaway, so be sure you read the description for more information about that. Is my face clipping? That looks very bright. Let me turn that down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's way too dark now. Yeah, there we go. Nice. If you guys are thinking about which phone to pick up, hopefully this video kind of helps you. I'm actually surprised how many DMs I get asking me, hey Mark, which phone should I pick up? Should I pick up this or this? And I'm actually kind of also surprised how many Android people message me asking me if they should if they should switch to iPhone. Don't worry, don't worry, your secret is safe with me. It's safe, for now. First things first, let's talk about the thing that you guys will notice immediately with these two phones, the design. The design of the two phones literally could not be more opposite. On the front of the S10, you see a large 6.4 inch screen with the famous or infamous dual hole punch out or pill shape, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, long story short, it's for the cameras. Some like it, some don't. The screen does get fairly bright, and I'm not even gonna say how much nits it is because from my experience and from reading YouTube comments, not many people know what nits are or is. Nits is, nits are? English people, help me out. Just for example, the literal definition of nit is a unit of measurement of luminance or the intensity of visible light where one nit is equal to one candela per square meter. What? Now you see why my reviews are nice and practical. So in short, the screen of the S10 Plus is bright. Super bright. It's bright enough where you can watch HDR content without having a problem and have a great time doing so. The sides of the S10 are nice and curved. This might be a deal breaker for those that like to rock their phones without a case. Uh, mainly because if you use this without a case, you're gonna get a lot of accidental touches. Now this can be fixed with a few settings in the phone, but straight out of the box, that is a problem you guys are going to be running into if you choose this phone. So I thought that I would include this in the video regardless. Now going to the back of the phone, the model I have here is the ceramic black. And honestly, it's no joke. This is the most premium material I felt that's actually in a phone. In short, it'll be much harder to scratch this phone and the back of my S10 Plus shows it. Now the ceramic model does weigh quite comfortable for some people. It's coming in at 198 grams. Also on the back, you will see the camera configuration. It houses a wide, ultra wide, and telephoto. It also has this weird heart rate and oxygen monitoring sensor to the side of it, uh, but I, I honestly don't know anybody that you know that actually uses it in fact many android guys don't even don't even know it's there some of them forget about it so use that information how you would like taking a look at the iphone 11 pro max from the front you're not really going to be seeing anything new the design stayed the same all the way back from the iphone 10 back in 2017. you still have a notch which houses the face id scanner along with your selfie camera the display is flat so that pretty much translates to not ever having any accidental touches or at least very very rare the actual screen of the iphone is also incredibly bright you won't have any issues using this phone outside in a bright sunny day to summarize the screen on the iphone 11 pro max is even brighter than the s10 plus or vice versa. Honestly, I don't really notice it. Both phones are incredible. Both phones are bright enough for you and me. Honestly, I didn't have a problem with any phone outside. The back of the iPhone 11 Pro Max is frosted glass for this year, and I absolutely love it. It's not as grippy as normal glass in my personal experience, but it does look nice and it is a welcome change for sure. The rear camera on the iPhone is kind of hard to miss, so let's talk about it. The top camera is gonna be your standard camera that me, you, your dog all know about. Your lower camera is gonna be your telephoto zoom lens, which is uh, two times optical zoom. And the side camera is that new ultra wide camera for capturing amazing landscapes and hard to reach places. Now the iPhone does weigh quite a bit, 226 grams. Now remember the S10 Plus was at 198 grams. So that's a significant difference. You will notice a difference. But thanks to Apple making the iPhone a little bit thicker this year, they're also able to put in a much, much, much larger battery. So between these two phones, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is going to last you 
way longer than the S10 Plus would. Taking a closer peek to the front of the devices, let's talk about how you will be unlocking the phones. With iPhone, it's simple. You get Face ID and a pin. That's it. Love it or hate it, that's all you got. With the S10 Plus, you get Face Unlock, Pin, Pattern, and Fingerprint. Now I have to mention, none of these methods are 100% accurate. You're gonna have misreads on iPhone and you're gonna have misreads on the Galaxy. That's just how life is. That's how life works. No, but honestly, if I had to pick one, I would choose Face ID simply because uh, it's one of the more safer options if you, if you, if you, if you compare it to uh, the Samsung's uh, Face Unlock. Face ID is way more secure and uh, it works more consistently than if you compared it to the fingerprint sensor on the S10 Plus. Both are great, but the iPhone's face unlock just works a little more smoother. But the S10 Plus definitely wins on having more options to unlock your phone. Now, when we unlock the phones, we are greeted with an operating system that has ruined friendships and relationships. iOS versus Android. Guys, being honest, both of these are fantastic. Both of these work perfectly. Android, and by the way, for you iPhone guys out there, Android is not the same as it was five, six years ago. Android has definitely upgraded 100% in every single fashion. They are both fantastic. They are just aimed at different sets of people, just like cars and clothes and cologne and food. You know, you, you don't go up to someone eating a pizza and say, hey, my hamburger is better, do you? If you do, please stop. That's very rude. <laughs> So with iPhone, you got iOS, which is aimed for simplicity, smoothness, and most importantly, longevity. Now the S10 Plus is running Android, which is aimed for customization, productivity, speed, performance, multitasking, and like a hundred other things. Now at its face value, both operating systems are pretty much identical. You got, you, you got you know, app stores for both devices. The same apps are pretty much on both devices. Some apps may look a little different on the other device, but they function the same exact way. So let's talk about the iPhone first. As I said, with iPhone, you are going to be updated for a much longer period of time. Five years of updates sounds pretty good. Now listen, I know you can download a custom ROM on Android and run even the newest operating system on the oldest Android phone. I understand that but like 99% of just normal consumers out there, they're not gonna do that. They're just gonna either upgrade to a newer phone or, or just stick with the one they have. That, that's pretty much it. Now the iPhone is also very simplistic. Sometimes a little too simplistic. You can't move the icons where you want. You can't make the icons smaller or change the way folders look like. iPhone is the textbook definition of what you see is what you get. And that is literally iOS. That's it. <laughs> but with that, you get an ecosystem that literally works perfectly together. It's seamless. You don't need to install anything else. You, need to, you don't need to turn any setting on or off for it to work. The second you buy a new iPad, it is automatically working perfectly with your iPhone. But obviously to get the benefit of the Apple ecosystem, you gotta spend thousands and thousands of dollars. So obviously you get the iPhone, but then maybe you want to get the iPad, right? You like it, so maybe you want to go deeper into the Apple ecosystem, you get the Apple Watch. But then you also kind of maybe want the Apple computer. But wait, we also forgot the Apple AirPods, so you go ahead and you buy that too. A year goes by and you're about six grand down the drain and maybe filing for divorce. I don't know. But hey, now at least you get the world's smoothest ecosystem. Android guys, I still love you, don't worry. But truth is truth. Apple ecosystem is the smoothest, it's the fastest, and most importantly, it is the most easiest to understand. So guys, now let's talk about the S10 Plus running Android. Have you ever wanted a PC in your pocket? Well, that's Android. Can I cut the video here? What do you mean, no? Literally whatever you can think of, you can do on Android. I've tried to prove myself wrong. I can't. Literally anything you, you can think of, you can do. You wanna make the apps smaller? Go for it. You wanna make invisible folders? Why not? Go for it. You wanna make apps open up when you tap on them, but also open up a folder when you swipe up on them? You can do that, chief. 
Do you want to install a third-party launcher like the one I'm running? Do you maybe want to make your apps even look like a different phone? You can do that. Android got you. Got you. Android understands you. Unlike your boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> Honestly, the coolest thing about Android is the small things. It's just the small things that make Android what it is. And for me, it's picture in picture. So when you're watching Netflix or YouTube and you just wanna check a different app real quick, the video stays playing in a little pop-up window. That way you can still keep an eye on what's going on on your favorite TV show or maybe the new episode of Vampire Diaries. Is that show even still going? <laughs> Let me Google it real quick. It ended March 10th, 2017. Damn, I'm late. Now back to what I was saying. Obviously you're not gonna be watching a full movie in that little pop-up window, that, that's pretty obvious. But it's just nice to have, you know, keep an eye on what you're looking at, maybe when you're using a different app for a minute or two. It honestly does kind of help. On iPhone, you don't have that feature. You, you, don't, you have zero multitasking. You can't do much of really anything on iPhone. <laughs> Now there's obviously a lot that, mo that a lot that goes into like iOS and Android that I'm not going to cover in this video because this video will, will end up being like seven weeks long and I might win a few Grammys. I might try another day though, but we'll see. Now battery life on these two phones are incredible. You won't go wrong with any, any of the two. The iPhone does last a lot longer though, but that's just over the top. I mean the iPhone for me lasts on, on my battery tests. It lasted like between eight and a half to nine hours. Some people are reporting 10 and a half hours of screen on time. How do you even manage that in, on, in one day? Do you just wake up and go straight on your phone and that's it? That's incredible, man. That's awesome. That's pretty good though. The S10 Plus on the other hand, it usually gets me about six and a half to seven hours of screen on time, which is still very good. Anything, anything above five hours, really? or like five and a half hours, it, it gets a pass for me. That's that's pretty good battery life for what these phones can do. But if you want the best, you, you gotta go with iPhone. I don't, I don't think any phone in its, in its immediate competition beats the iPhone in terms of battery life, or at least the Pro Max. Now comparing photos, or at least the photo quality of the S10 Plus to the iPhone 11 Pro Max is like comparing a very orange orange to a not so orange orange. Does that make sense? Probably not. Let me put it this way. It doesn't matter. On a quick side note, I love watching these uh, photo comparison tests of people like taking a picture of a penny and then they're like, oh, the iPhone, you can see Abraham Lincoln's head a little bit sharper on the iPhone, but on the Galaxy, it's a little better exposed. Like, what are we doing? Like, I, like what? I mean, I get it. Comparison these days are really hard because the phones are just insanely good. You will not go wrong with any of these two phones if you want to take great pictures. Sometimes the iPhone takes better pictures in this category. Sometimes the Galaxy takes pictures better in the other category. No phone is perfect and I can't say which one is better because my opinion is going to be different from your opinion. All you guys got to know is that both of these phones take insanely good photos and, and you, you just can't go wrong with any one of them. For me, again, I don't care. I'm not pixel peeping. I think a photo from any phone this year or even last year looks simply amazing. Now, video on the other hand, the iPhone wins like hands down. <laughs> like you can't even compare them. The iPhone wins definitely in the video category. On iPhone, you can do 4K 60 on all four lenses. Yes, even a selfie camera can do 4K 60 and it's 4K 60 with super steady video. iPhone doesn't really have super steady video, but it's on par with super steady video on the S10 Plus. But the S10 Plus, to achieve super steady video, has to go down to 1080p. Meanwhile, the iPhone does it in 4K 60. I mean, I don't know, you tell me which one's better. Now, the S10 Plus can do 4K 60, but only on the main lens. And if you do choose that option, you're gonna be losing a ton of stability. It's gonna look like you're walking during an earthquake. It's not gonna be fun. I mean, for a quick comparison, here's what 4K 60 on the iPhone 11 Pro looks like and 4K 60 on the S10 Plus using its main lens because it can't use any other lens. So here's a quick comparison.
I mean, I'm not being biased over here, but now let's talk a little bit more about the internals. The iPhone 11 Pro Max uh, comes with a 64 gigabyte base storage, which I mean, this is a family friendly channel, or at least I try to keep it that way, but that's ridiculous. 64 gigs, come on. I don't care if you have iCloud storage. 64 gigs is just way too low, but it does go up to 256 and 512 gigabytes. Meanwhile, the S10 Plus comes with 128 gigabytes of base storage, goes up to 512 and even, oh my God, one terabyte. And it has an SD card support. So if you max everything out, you're looking at 1.5 terabytes. Bro, that's like, you can literally treat your S10 Plus as like a backup computer. <laughs> like you can literally store anything as a backup on the, on the phone and you'll be good. Like that is incredible storage. I have never even went over like 200 gigs in my life. What are you guys doing? What are you guys downloading? Ugh. So the price of the iPhone 11 Pro Max starts at $1,050. The price of the S10 Plus starts at $1,000. So after taxes, we're only looking at about a $50 difference. But the S10 Plus has been out for like seven months, six months, seven months, something like that. So you can obviously get it used. In fact, you can get the ceramic black S10 Plus with 512 gigs of, uh, or of storage for between like $600, $700. That is a banging deal. And again, that's the ceramic model. That's the model that I have right now. You're not gonna scratch this thing. I mean, don't try obviously, but it's gonna be super hard to scratch. So at least you're, I mean, you're paying like half the price of the iPhone almost. And you're, you have a nice peace of mind that your phone is just a little bit more safe against scratches on the back. Now the speaker quality on both phones are great. Again, I mean, it's a phone. You're not, you're not gonna be expecting movie theater experiences out of it. Uh, the S10 Plus is a little louder, but the iPhone is way more balanced, like way, way more balanced. You, you can almost have like this weird 3D effect around your head. If you hold the iPhone like this far away from your face, like if you're watching like a movie, like this far away, right? <laughs> And you're, I mean, if you're watching a, a movie with a surround, surround sound, it'll literally feel like, like there, there are stuff around your head when, when you're watching a movie. It's really crazy. Uh, the S10 Plus, again, it does sound good. It's nice and loud, but it just doesn't have that. Like imagine, imagine eating macaroni and cheese with not a lot of cheese. And that's pretty much the S10 Plus. <laughs> anyway, here's a quick comparison. So there you guys go. I mean, you can't really hear the full quality because I'm recording from this thing and it's going through your speakers. So, but you guys will still hear the difference. Um, so yeah, let's talk about speaker phone. Speaker phone quality, again, is better on the iPhone. For some reason, when I'm talking on the S10 Plus on speaker phone, even if I have the phone right here, the other person doesn't really hear me that well. They, they can hear a lot of the background sounds and they say, I sound like I'm talking inside of a closed bathroom. It just sounds very kind of muffled. Meanwhile, with the iPhone, I can talk at an arm's distance away and people still hear me as if I'm on the phone like this. So again, speakerphone quality definitely goes to the iPhone. So in my honest, humble opinion, if you're not tied down to Apple's ecosystem and you kind of want to save some cash on the side, get the S10 Plus. You're, you're not really going to regret it. It's a, it's a great phone. But if you have an iPad or maybe an Apple computer or maybe you're deep into Apple ecosystem, why are you even watching this video, you dummy? Of course, get the iPhone. It's also a fantastic phone. Both of these phones are great. I'm still shocked at the amount of people that have a hate to, to one phone and a very strong love to one phone. Like, let's, let's relax now. Both phones can post Facebook statuses and Twitter. I mean, isn't that what matters the most? <laughs> Honestly, they're both good. So guys, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really more that I can cover on these two phones. I kept it nice and simple. I didn't really go deep into the details because most people don't even know those details. I just kind of kept it nice and simple. If you got this far, 
Comment a dog emoji or a cat emoji, whatever, or a turtle. Com comment some animal, your favorite animal, let's do that. To confuse the hell out of every single person that did not get this far. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.